Hi, this is Vincent Yu from the Active Breach team at MDSec Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to exploit the CBE 2017-8790 rifle vulnerability, the one that was exploited in the wild and discovered by FireEye. So this is um, similar to the previous RTF bug. Um, this isn't an RTF bug, but it can be exploited in a similar way. Um, I'm going to create a new object, and we're going to link to a, a remote location. So um, what I'm going to first do is um, I'll show you a proof of concept that Valnet put up. So if you go to the exploit, this is what the exploit looks like. Um, you basically, it's basically a, a vulnerability in the way it parses the, these parameters here. And as you can see, there's a start process start here. And the fact that it does process start on the middle chunk with that as a parameter, then it grabs this from a remote location and executes it. So, um, yeah, so here I'm going to reference a HCA file that I'm going to download and execute. So that's what you want to do in your exploit.tech. So if you go ahead and change that to your domain and save it. If you're using SSL, you got to make sure your SSL certs are valid or else um, Word will prompt the user like you're using invalid certs. So um, do that. I'm just going to call mine command.jpg and host it on my Cobalt Strike team server. So I've gone ahead and done that here. So. Um, here and then um, for the command uh, for the command.jpg, what I'm doing is I'm using the host cactus torch payload and I'm just putting command.jpg in here and then my domain put 443 in here and then put it on HTA and then it will generate and host that for me. So that's basically what I've done. And what this will hopefully do is when the exploit executes, it will grab my payload and execute the cactus torch and HTA. So all right, now that that's done. I'm going to show you this blob, but just give that a moment. Um, we're going to create an object in here. Just, I, ideally, you could reference whatever you want, but I'm just going to reference my uh, exploit text file and link the file. Let's OK. It'll take a little while. Oh, yeah, it's HTTPS. OK, so nothing there. You can decorate the file all you want. Press Save. And then go right here, open it in Sublime Text. You will see here is the metadata for the file. So, so what I've done is, if you search for obj, you can see that this is an object, and then it's the only object, OLE object in this entire file. So instead, what I will do is, if you refer back to the CVE 2017-0199 vulnerability, you can actually use the obj update to force an update, and then it will um, automatically force the the payload to um, execute. So what I'm going to do here is close this so I can save it. Yeah. So now if I grab this this blob here, this is the OLE object. If I grab this and just delete it for now, okay. Go to the blob.bin. Copy my blob.bin. Stick it in HXD. Uh, create a new file. And then go down to basically where it says wisdom equal location. What you want to do is edit this location and Unicode characters to your exploit.txt file. So I'm just going to do that. I've done that now. So um, put that into Sublime, format it, copy it and paste it into that exact location, save it. And now, basically, if I open up this RTF file now, it should hopefully, without any human interaction, I'm not going to click anything, a shell comes back. So as you can see, the exploit works pretty well and it requires no human interaction. So that's it for this video. I'll, um, and it actually creates two artifacts here as well, but I'll delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, close out of this video now. And if there's any more questions, um, just drop me a line on Twitter under the um, BY security handle and I'll be happy to respond to any queries.